Hi guys, hope uh, all is not well because uh, we are arriving to a new financial year that is uh, 2019 and 20. Okay, so if you are tensed about this, don't worry, I am here to help you out. Okay, uh, today's topic is moving to a new financial year in tally ERP9. Okay. First, uh, in this uh, video, I am uh, showing the data of 2018 and 19, uh, 17 and 18. Okay, and the present financial year we are in that is 2018 and 19. Okay, and the coming financial year is 1920. That starts from this uh, April 1st. Okay, 1 4 2019. And uh, here we have three methods of uh, moving into a new financial year okay first one is change the date from get to f tally by pressing alt f2 okay second one is splitting the data third one is export all the ledgers with closing balance to a new company that is 1920 create a new company uh, starting from 1 april 2019 and uh, let export all the ledgers with closing balance from uh, uh, old company to new company okay this is a bit lengthy process okay i will uh, in this video i am going to show you these two example uh, th these two methods okay third one uh, will uh, learn in the future classes because uh, this is same of the splitting data okay all the three have same effect but uh, you can uh, Try alternatively because if it is uh, not uh, okay with you, uh, this scenario, uh, this is uh, if you have uh, uh, if you have not huge data, huge number of transactions, you can uh, simply use this method. Okay, if you have huge number of transactions, you can go for the splitting data. Okay, the new company you will get in uh, fresh means uh, only with opening balances without any transactions okay so you will get better performance in this in that data if you have huge transactions in old data you will feel a better difference means uh, you will get speed in the new data okay compared to old comp uh, data so third one is same of this okay so it is uh, not required but in some other cases you will require in the future classes i will teach you this also okay so we'll start i have opened two times tally okay just uh, double click on tally icon okay two times you will uh, get two <coughs> two tally screen okay why i have opened i will uh, tell you let us start First, uh, we'll check whether it has uh, any transactions. Okay, mm, just go to display book. Okay, okay, it has some transaction. Okay, so in the new company, you will not get any transactions. You will get only opening balances. Before moving to a new financial year, the criteria is your account should be finalized. Okay before finalizing the accounts don't move new financial year okay so let us start first method that is uh, change the date from gate to f tally by pressing alt f2 okay here is alt f2 this is the gate to f tally screen okay alt f2 or click here i am using the date of 1718 okay financial year but i am moving this in this video from 1718 to 1819 so 1418 it will start 31st 3 31st 3 19 okay there are so many methods to change uh, enter the date okay you can simply enter A18 it will take okay M19 okay here you can see 18 to 19 it has changed okay or uh, you can use one space four 18 okay 31st space three space 19 that also you can use okay so after changing this 
you just go to display daybook okay you will not get any data here enter the date 1418 right new financial year and this uh, data but you have to you are moving to 19 to 20 uh, for, sorry yeah, you are we are in uh, 18 19 uh, we are moving to 19 20 it starts from 1st april uh, 2019 okay so in this uh, in this data uh, is of 17 18 uh, the fin financial year new financial year for me is uh, 1819 that is 1418 to 31st 19 i am entering the uh, complete year period okay 31st 3 19 i'm not getting let me check with the previous uh, year 1470 to 31st 3 here yeah, okay so in the new year there is no transaction okay so you can simply move when you open next time it will open from uh, 18 19 no need to change every time if you once you change uh, in the next time uh, it will directly open from 18 19 and it will not carry any transactions okay if you have any problem in this uh, you can uh, go and check the opening balances and go to display account book ledger select any ledger you will get the opening balance close uh, opening balance last year closing balance as opening balance to check this you can go to uh, last year uh, data okay last year data you just uh, again you change from here clicking here one four seventeen one four seventeen to thirty first eighty let's go display account book ledger abc company period we have all the transactions from on april to thirty first March 18 so the closing balance was 5000 it is carried it will carry when you change the date okay one four so this is one of the simple method okay as uh, tally says power of simplicity uh, it means you you can see here okay and the second method will go to split the data okay it will generate completely new data okay it carrying all the closing balances and uh, masters all the masters so what you have to do for that you have to from gateway of tally you have to just click on company info or in the keyboard you can use alt f3 okay alt f3 so you will get split company data here so before splitting there is an option verify company data okay verify company data you check whether it has any problem in the data any errors you can go to verify company data select company enter so no errors found so go back one step escape use the escape button okay go to select company enter enter here here you have to click and this um, my data uh, 1 april 18 it is taking automatically because uh, it will take next financial year automatically okay so uh, if you are uh, splitting the data in the middle of the year uh, for example uh, in the August of, uh, in August uh, for, uh, in September 1st you want to split the data you have finalized all the uh, accounts uh, at on uh, 31st of uh, August okay so for one you have to get a, you want to get a new data so what you have to do in that case you have to enter 19 
2018 okay it will not take automatically you have to enter here now at present what i am doing i am taking i am uh, moving to uh, have finalized all the data uh, of uh, 1718 on uh, 31st march 2018 so i am uh, splitting from 1 april 18 as of uh, as per your requirement you can enter the data so you it will clearly show here what are the companies are going to create first company will create from april 2017 that is old data okay it will have all the transaction second company from 1 april 2018 okay you have to use this company for the new financial year it will not have any transactions okay it will be fresh with only opening balances okay after entering the date enter accept yes click yes or enter you can click yes or, or press enter since i have small data with a few entries okay let us split it uh, very quickly so here we have three companies one is parent company that will be as it is there is no changes in that and the second company is 1 april 2017 okay from 1 april that is old data new company is from 1 april 2018 okay it is showing here no vouchers entered you can go and check there okay i have selected this or uh, you can alternatively you can go for select company and uh, you can select this April 8 if you are uh, confused uh, with all this with all these things what you can do you can go to shut company shut other two co companies okay other two data and now only one we have one four eighteen okay uh, one more thing I want to remind that uh, before doing this uh, you have to take data backup okay you have to take data backup before doing uh, before splitting the data or uh, changing the data or uh, doing any changes to the data uh, because uh, your uh, data is uh, more valuable okay so if you are something happens to that uh, you can restore the data or if you have backup so better to take backup before splitting the data okay so i have a new company here so i will go to display Daybook. you can enter any date for it into the first 390 or uh, last year 1417 31st 18 no data okay that is with only opening balances okay. you will have all the opening balances here it will carry all the opening balances okay if you have any errors while splitting the data it will show here in the calculator panel okay the calculator panel it will show and uh, the file you will get one uh, notepad file where all the errors will be listed out where you will get that i will show you just go to Cali icon right click on that open file location open file location will get uh, in 2017 and uh, above versions of windows okay below that you will get properties you have to go to properties here you will get find target below versions 2007 below versions that means uh, windows uh, vista and the 2003 all this uh, here I have open file location since I have uh, Windows 8, okay, 8.1. 8 so I'm going to open file location. Here you can see tally.imp, okay. Open that. It will be having all the errors, okay. So you have to scroll down, scroll down. At the end, it will show you with date and time the errors with date and time what is the error you have you look at the errors and uh, you can uh, rectify the errors okay one by one so if you are uh, have any problem in uh, rectifying that uh, you can uh, alternatively contact uh, 
me i have uh, some uh, chargeable services also so you can note my number here okay this is my contact number if you are from outside india you can add plus nine one okay Nine seven nine one. You use zero better. Zero nine seven three nine one seven nine zero. So you can contact on that number if you have any errors while splitting the data. So this is the second method. Okay. And the third one is, as I said earlier, uh, we'll uh, learn that also in the future classes. As of now, it is not required as per me uh, these are the two methods are more than enough okay hope uh, you got everything so if you have any queries you can uh, type on the comment box if you have not subscribed till now uh, you can subscribe to my my channel uh, you kindly support me I have all the experience in tally so I have uh, many things to show so if you have any a requirement uh, you can type that also in the comment box okay uh, thank you for watching this be safe